motivation to fly probably started at quite a young age. Um, I have kind of grown up around a love of aviation. My mum's always been fascinated by planes and every time we'd go on holiday she'd be all over it. Uh, she'd be tracking all the planes in the sky. She loved it so I kind of got it from there and my dad actually bought me a trial lesson for my birthday and just fell in love. The second I was up there that feeling of being uh, weightless and knowing that there's only two people in this tiny plane. Uh, yeah, it was incredible. So kind of got back down, uh, thought about it long and hard and thought actually this is something I'd, I'd really love to do. It would be an amazing achievement but also just having that ability and freedom to, to do something like that I thought would be pretty amazing. So my first solo was actually at uh, Bristol Airport which was incredible, uh, but it's kind of where I'd done the most circuits and probably felt the most comfortable, surprisingly. Um, but yeah, I kind of knew it was on the cards, it was going to be coming up, but I didn't know exactly when or where um, until the day, until my instructor said, yep, yeah, think you're ready, uh, ran through the final checks and everything, and that was it, he got out, and yeah, I was on my own, uh, ready to go solo, and it's... Um, a feeling I don't know if I'll ever have again, to be honest. I don't think anything can replicate it. It was a mix of pure excitement, nerves, apprehension. Uh, it was kind of all bundled into this this uh, ball of emotions. But yeah, it was it was an incredible experience, and uh, I loved every second of it. So what was it like flying a plane uh, on my own for the first time? Um, it was amazing. Uh, I'd done quite a lot of prep, so I felt really confident. I felt like I knew exactly what I needed to do, but nothing can replicate that feeling of uh, knowing you're on your own in this uh, aeroplane that you've got to keep in the sky um, and only you can do so. So yeah, it was, a, it was one of the most amazing experiences I think I've ever had in my life. And yeah, it's something I was really proud of. Uh, I remember that feeling of touching down and landing and sort of pulling back into uh, the airfield and just thinking, wow, I will never forget that moment. Um, the sheer concentration, how intense it felt, uh, but that rush and elation feeling that you got uh, afterwards knowing that you'd done it and all of that work and prep was worth it and led you to, to doing it solo for the first time. As no one knew I was going solo that day, I probably spent the the first sort of an hour after I, I landed just basically calling everyone and saying, you'll never guess what I did today. Uh, and yeah, that was a great feeling, being able to call my mum, uh, dad and friends and basically saying, yeah, today was the day. And my instructor took a, a video of me coming in, so I had some amazing proof. Um, but yeah, after that, I think I probably went home, had a cup of tea and just sort of sat on the sofa for a bit, just trying to absorb it all. Uh, it's quite intense, so I was probably a bit tired, but um, yeah, there was definitely a glass of wine or two to, to be had that evening.